bit of violence in Cape Coast. Why was there violence? Because there's violence over voters register. Why should it be violence? I don't know. I'm not sure why our political parties cannot come to a certain conclusion where the voters register is sacrosanct and is known by all. There should be an app that's sitting here in Metro TV as a news reporter. I can punch the uh, NDC voters register and I can have it. MPP voters register, I have it. If Paul Adamotri is in for Kwamu constituency, he should be there. If a person is a constituency chairman from Gary Timpani, why does he arrive at the event venue and they say his name is not in the register? All of those things must stop in our politics. Somebody's name is in, somebody's name is not in. Let people go to the contest and win or lose. Let people stop the machinations. It's, it's derailing our politics and it's allowing very bad people to find space in our politics. Bad people should not find space in our politics. People who want to compete on ideas should find space in our politics. Not bad people. The way we do our politics, we can have a lot of rogue behavior in politics because a voter's register is sacrosanct. Constituency chairmen have been elected. If all constituency chairmen are on the register, they shouldn't show up at their Cross Four Stadium. Somebody's constituency chairman at Memphis West. He comes. They said, "Ogbe Ebemi, Udi Inim." What's that? Why, do we, why does that happen in our politics all the time? This must stop. And this accounted for the violence in Cape Coast because there was confusion about the register. Why should Tin, the tertiary ed education executive people of the National Democratic Congress, is like Rotary's Rotract, the younger NDC, if you like. And this is the election for the, the youth organizer and the women's organizer. Why should Tain not be in? You can't understand these things. At the MPP Congress in Kumasi, there was a lot of issues about Tescon wanting to vote for Wound to Me, and of 62 names, 42 were approved. All that. So let's have a better political system. And I hope that the Electoral Commission is listening. Get the political parties to fix their register. So that the sacrosanct, nobody can change it. Let's let's go through the video so we can we don't have to run over time today. Here is the video of the violence. Have a look. Okay, why did the violence okay? It was widely reported that President Mohammed's lieutenant had gone into Cape Coast to support Boja Jinfi to win. Sami Jinfi had openly campaigned for Boja Jinfi. I don't know whether that's right or wrong, but I think in the future, national executive, incumbent national executive officers, whether you're NDC, MPP, or CPP, should not declare open support for candidates who are vying for positions. Sami Jinfi is a member of the national executive. He's a national youth uh, communications director. He's a communications director of the party. Therefore, maybe he shouldn't have uh, showed such open bias for Boja Jinfi, but he did. Anyway, so it was reported that John Mahama forces had uh, uh, infiltrated the event, Congress event, including a big name like Julius Debra. It was widely reported that Julius Debra had been there, or Mane Boama, Stanislav Dogbe, had all been there uh, to put pressure on uh, 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 Pablo and to make sure Boja Jinfi wins. So it was said that President Mohammed's candidate was Boja Jinfi. That's That was what everyone said. And President Mohammed's candidate had been defeated in Cape Coast. I don't know whether it's his candidate or not. But to help us understand, President Mohammed's uh, Joyce uh, Bawa Motkari, the PR director, issued a statement as follows. Former President John Dramani Mahama wishes to once again caution, in the strongest terms, aspirants and their campaigners who deliberately continue to associate his name with their campaign. As has been publicly stated by Mr. Mahama, he has no preference and has not endorsed any candidate in the ongoing NDC national executive election, which climaxes on Saturday the 10th at the 10th National Delegates Congress, Saturday the 17th of December, I should add. Mr. Mahama has noted the attempts by some candidates to push a narrative, despite his previous cautions, that he, John Mahama, supports their candidature. Of paramount interest to President Mahama is victory for the NDC in 2024 to work with expectant and suffering Ghanaians to build the Ghana we want. He, like other supporters of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, will work with whoever the delegates choose and elect. Meanwhile, the office of H.E. John Dramani Mahama condemns a publication in a tabloid newspaper that the family of the former president is in support of one of the aspirants for national chairman of the NDC. The said claim and the publication are false, and the rank and file of the party are encouraged to...
to disregard them. This statement is published by Joyce Bauer Modgari, special aide to President John Dramani Mahama. So, President Mahama would like the conversation to be guided in a certain way. He says that he does not support any candidate. Julius Debra supports a candidate, doesn't mean that it's John Mahama. Sami Jemfi supports a candidate, doesn't mean that it's John Mahama. That's logical, isn't it? Well, Standogbe supports a candidate, doesn't mean that it's John Mahama. Logical, isn't it? So, that's President Mahama's statement to which we had to give coverage uh, to be fair to the analysis. Okay, now let's get to what happened on Asempa FM this morning. Now, we had been monitoring all over the weekend about this, but this morning we had been quite busy in court, uh, focusing on the Atuisian matter, which we'll deal with on Thursday. It's the first conviction in the banking crisis since 2017. So, Thursday we have a lot to say about that. Um, and then we had also been monitoring the IMF events uh, as it happened. So, uh, we had not been fully uh, apprised of what was happening on Asempa Radio until our attention was drawn to it. So, in this first video, some George, uh, the MP for Ningo Pram Pram, is reported to have posted something which was read to uh, Mr. Pablo Opariado, who was in the studio. He got outraged. So let's first start with the publication that came into the studios from Sam George. That's what it is. Okay, it is Sam George. I, I, I post. Mm -hmm. I have watched clips of George Opariado making asinini and reckless comment on an Accra-based radio station. Let me serve notice to him that other that others he attacks may choose to be silent, but not Sam George. This should be the last time he goes anywhere and runs his loose mouth on my person. Oh, Today he calls me an influence peddler. I do not blame him. When in 2008 I wrote all his campaign speeches because he was not connecting with his electorate, I guess I was peddling influence. <laughs> what has he achieved that I would be jealous of? He attempted to go to parliament and lost miserably at a time the NDC as a party was most attractive and won the 2008 elections. Is it his failure I would be envious of? When in 2015, 2016, 2019 and 2020 I went up against the establishment both within and outside our party and won all those elections, where were you? After you bragged that you would win a landslide victory, we all saw the contrived small margin you won with after disenfranchising persons whose names were on the register. The results are testament that you have not done as well as you delude yourself into thinking. The illusions of grandeur you create in that insipid mind of yours are creations of your weak mind. Wow. An intelligent person would have started a proper introspection to see how your landslide became a narrow escape. When you sent a camera crew to parliament seeking endorsement of my colleague MPs, were they also influenced peddlers? Mm. You claim to be a Democrat, but are pained that others have exercised their fundamental democratic right of choice. Is everything okay with you? And by the way, those who really fund our party never go and sit on radio and TV to run their mouths. Their wealth has made them discreet. As you brag about what you and your family have done for the NDC, be quick to add the numerous contracts the NDC has given to your family and let's do a balancing act and see who owes who a debt of gratitude. Like our elders say, this is my initial response and warning to you to keep my name out of your mouth. The next time, I may not be this charitable. You have been warned. Have watched, I've watched clips of George Oparadu making... Uh, okay, I think it's, it's the same statement. That's where it ends. You have been warned. Where well, yeah, your former friend, if I'm right to use that expression, Sam George, MP Ningo Pram Pram. So on Asampa Radio, that's uh, on OB's program, I should say. Uh, uh, OB was interviewing uh, uh, Pablo Opariado this afternoon. And that was uh, Sam George's very brutal, very, very brutal uh, intervention. This is how Opariado responded. This, here is it. So we mentioned Yeah. That doesn't mean that I was not connecting with my people. I mean, branch here and um, And in 2000, I contested against them, but we're not clear. I'm NPP seats. 
in 2020, the primary is not quite no winning by any uh, NDC primary. Only Michael Tate. Yes. Margin said no I don't know four. Uh huh. Four and yeah. five, six. I don't cry. You grow food if you register no more, man. I don't even feel no. You know, I'll just ignore him. He's not even worth my time. I'm having one now. I'm from Kenya. But but all oh, the camera call Parliament call pen doors. Ah, why are you having the camera call? Yeah. Ah, why are you? Now go out. Now. Then the part of Parliament will be not say what the camera. Are you true for? I challenge you to mention names. I'm the camera call. Now the Parliament make order. Me and Mumbi see order. Me here like Mumbi see order. Missy Oda, I'm the camera and the coin. Make sure you you're your true for there. Make sure you're your true for. I'm a smart one. Why am I smart? No, Obi, me ye, me ye me politics now. Obi, call call yes, I'm a small beer. It's not called Kano or Budizo. I said, Messi Bar, I Messi Bar. Why would I compare endorsement to MP Bell? Ah, but I played videos of Prof Nana. President Mahama, Haji Azuria, Haruna Idrusin in Yama, campaigning now. I, who do you know endorsing my work as national youth organizer not doing an election process so a dear dance here juma my baby yeah now me pay endorsement as i'm george endorsement now some judge credibility is better than the parliament or no more you should bring it on i'm ready to meet him in the garden so ah yeah you understand i'm being no 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 colleague mp is not your mature why in the boon of parliament on him not you know no but this is so, a, a member move of parliament let's move on oh but oh good you know but I'll say, those, Obi, let's move on. Those who really fund the NDC don't sit on radio to talk about it. I come in the entire song called Shepo. The business of my man is Kada, 2016. Now my man is Kada could contest there. Let's move on. Remember, I didn't say me before. Obi, and Kassem, for four. Let's move on. Let's move on. But see, you have been warned. I, you, the next time. How dare you? Why is Sam Jordan warning me? Hey. How na, dare you warn me? Now, if I'm not sure, say you have been warned. I'll say, Chua, bro, next time, say no, no, I may say no. not be this charitable. They may be no better. Prophet said no bad petrol. They been beam. They been beam no petrol. I promise no petrol, prophet. They been beam no petrol. I'm just busy in general menu. Obi, let's move on and talk about something else. Let's move on and talk about something else. And but but this this I think it will be fair for me to let you explain this point because it's important. Obi, I'm not responding to you. No 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 no. Hold on hold on. The point about the fact that if you claim. Your family has funded that. You should also do a cost benefit analysis. Now, she contract her family in Swenya. Now, if you want to be your own in your a debt of gratitude. Obi, do I speak to this nonsense? Obi, move on. Ah, but that is. Obi, move on, move on. I don't, I don't speak to it. Move on. Move on. I don't speak to it. Move on. In the final video, George Apayado had always said that this contest was not against Boja Jenfi, but it was against Sami Jenfi, the director of uh, NDC's National Communication. My good friend from Christ Embassy, Sami Jenfi, is under fire today for uh, allegedly owning a house in Airport Hills, one of the choices um, uh, 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 residents in Accra. Allegedly, I have to add. Allegedly owning a house in Airport Hills. Those are not our words. Those are the words of George Apayado, the uh, just elected National Youth Organizer of the NDC. In this upcoming video, he takes uh, uh, more bullets onto Sami Jinfi. This is what he said. My term ends the day at New Orleans. Do you, do you, do you expect some kind of an injunction on your swearing in? Um, uh, well, I don't expect any injunction. And, and I expect him to be magnanimous in defeat and accept his salary. Mm. And one I mean, I'll be a close in here, but it is the forces that came to support him. When you know the anchor, if you anchor 300 crank, you be now. Okay, forces are what do you mean? But you all saw the forces, but this election, I did not contest with Judge Infi. It Sir, was Sami Jinfi I was contesting now. O, o I was colleague, on, the, on, on the J campaign. Yeah, yeah. Colleague national, national officer. On the BJ campaign, you know, they be an ABA Brujan Fisher, John and Anna Nefeso. It's on the BJ Connecon. But, but it, mm -hmm. eh, but as a surprise to you, say, or declare the support for o, o, o opponent. Surprise me, yes, mammy, by a few years. I know one more. Manya, more frosty relationship. Dadana. Say any declaration and I come in him. Say, be all yet to fake a year, my boom. Nada, you have a boon studio. I'm not going to press conference. Obiame, Bono. I also have another trade. Obiama, Bono. Ninety days, you are. Then it's another be, you know, I be, that I be torn in Sabon. Pablo, me patch. Obiama, Bono. It's not this you are. Then it's you. It was a Uko police station quiet. No, they said that, then I be a boon or Hanomono. 
Oh, I sent no, no. I mean, I'm going to press conference and watching Mama B in Zoom. Mama B is a childhood friend, no. I mean, I'm going to get a press conference and watching Mama B in Zoom. So until say, we declare the support. That means the problem, your baby. Because we cram out on South Friend, pay. Around 2020. Mm hmm. My friend of the Sammy. You know, you can't hold me between the power of my party. Me inviting money by my office with Joel. Maybe I'm a law firm. No, no. I'm some brother in the instance. I'm a master. But I'm not going to hold me. I'm going to hold me. And he obliged. Obai. Obai. Okay. So, until the sad development is CA. But I don't know if I'm going to for justice one. But I'm going to go for a car once. I didn't take it serious. I'm going to charge them all. But they need to fly us to crap. And then they can say. But I'm also still our one. And I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. But 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 I'm going to go to the house. And you may not. I'm going to pray prayer. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. It was not my demonstration. But I felt that we were working together. So, I said, yeah. so until he declared his intentions, I didn't even think there was a problem. But I don't saw me. The other means on no moon. It was a point in time. I'm going to ah, and then I'm a bruja by and you want in our party now. I want to see my mom be here. Nanka um, I'm the one that make contest with Nanka my bruja and train. But I said, bruja fisher. It will not for something any internal. Nanka is Anka Ujai communications. Nanka Tissimu. We was around the country. A lot of communication officers have been contesting youth organizer because youth organizer, mm -hmm. it won't be there. Ubi so many countries, it won't be there. Pablo Bay and youth organizer, it won't be there. IFE, I swear me. So I still say, ah, now yes, the name IFE, the name they've been there. Nanka is Ujai. Nanka Tissimu. Now we be contesting be your honor. But one by. All right, that's a, that's a final video. I don't like it when youth are fighting, do I? It's not, it's not nice. I mean, if the older people are fighting, they should fight. But it's not great when youth are fighting. NDCU shouldn't fight. They should come together, work hard, compete on ideas, and whoever wins the election wins on ideas, isn't it? That's how the country will be helped. So, Boja Jinfi and Samiji, if you shouldn't fight, should they? Uh, so did I say, no, they, don't, they are not fighting. The two of them on one side are fighting uh, George Opayado. I call him Pablo Opayado, but his actual name is George Opayado. Now, it's, it's, it's quite unnerving when, after all of what was happening today, and, and I have to pay credit, uh, pay tribute to OB's program. It's a program I don't miss. It's on Asempa every 2 o'clock. It's a political talk show. It's led by a nice guy called OB. You saw him. He's very, I like the way his questions. He's not emotional about his questions, and he always brings you back. You saw the way he was bringing George Opayado back. I like OB for the way he conducts his interviews, and it's, it's an interview that I I don't miss, especially when I'm abroad and uh, I'm bored. I listen to Obi all the time. Today, I couldn't listen and everyone was calling me that, you know, listening to your favorite program, Georgia Parado is firing some bullets over there. So I told my people to listen and then we're able to pull out this video. Congratulations. That's a good program. Tomorrow, I'll be listening to it again. Now, I'm concerned about uh, Boja Jinfi's statement. I hope that it's either untrue or he's going to retract it very soon because this is not the way uh, to put out a statement when you have lost a national youth organizer event. We have seen people lose it. Nilante Vandapoy lost a very painful defeats to Haruna Idrisu. We didn't see all of that. I'm not sure why Buja Jinfi is very angry and doing this, but this is what he put out, and it goes as follows. He says, I would like to convey my profound gratitude to all youth delegates of the NDC who converged at the University of Cape Coast over the weekend for the 2022 National Youth Conference of our beloved party. You turned up in your numbers to support and indeed voted massively for me. I treasure your trust. I treasure, I treasure your trust and confidence reposed in me. I further wish to thank all stakeholders of our party, as well as the rank and file for, uh, uh, it's going to change, they'll change it. Uh, all right. Um, okay. My team is supporters, he continues, admirers and the rank and file of the party who desired for a change in the youth leadership. I say thank you to you, thank you to you all, he says. The processes leading to the 10th National Youth and Women's Conference was fraught with deliberate manipulation of the delegates list to favor the incumbent. This was in violation of express decisions and orders of the courts of competent jurisdiction and the directives of the National Democratic Congress. Uh, he continues and says, I sincerely think that the party must take concrete steps to ensure that our rules and regulations are respected and not skewed to the advantage of anyone. For the records, the election of the National Youth Organizer of the NDC is far from over. May God bless the great NDC. Youth Leadership of Courage. Hashtag Nyamebeye. Hmm. 
getting very, very dangerous. Okay, so that was a, a budget if statement. Do I have something to say about it? I just hope it's not true, or if it is true, I hope that he will retract and then move on, and then we can have a clear contest. On Saturday, the NDC gets into another very heated contest that we'll talk about on Thursday. Now, uh, um, no, I, I, I call on my supporters to remain calm in the wake of unprovoked attacks on my person by George Opera. This Bojaji uh, uh statement, which was put out sometime today, he says, uh, I call on my supporters to remain calm in the wake of unprovoked attacks on my person by George Opariado in the last two days. I will respond in a more forceful manner soonest notice is served. Leadership of courage. Nyame beye. That's Bojaji Jemfi has put it out again. Now, here is what Sam George said. Uh, no, this is what uh, uh, George Opariado said. He said, you and Sam George are small boys. I was MC when you wrote your wasi. Pablo to Sami Jinfi. Pablo tells Sami Jinfi that you, Sami Jinfi, you and Sam George, you are small boys. I was MC when you wrote your wasi. Please, when you wrote your wasi, you the viewer. Uh, when you were MC viewer, I, was I writing wasi? But if I was writing wasi when you wrote your, uh, when you were MC, so what's the problem? Is there a problem with that? Everybody will write wasi. This year there will be wasi. Next year wasi. Three years wasi. The people who write wasi later, are they worse than the people who write wasi tomorrow? I don't understand George Opariado. If you are MC and somebody is writing wasi, I really don't get it. What is the point? John Mahama was deputy minister when Spiel Gabra was minister. John Mahama became vice president. Spiel Gabra was not even in the cabinet. John Mahama became president. He had to appoint Spiel Gabra. He was deputy minister. Spiel Gabra was his boss, minister, as communication. So as for I'm MC and you are wasi. It doesn't, it doesn't work. As somebody said, once we walk out of the school gate of Addis Adel, please, nobody's nobody's senior. It is how God blesses you and how you're able to achieve something. Those are the things that matter. So, uh, Mr. Pablo, that matter of your MC, somebody was writing Wasi. Uh, please stop that one. I, Sam George wrote Wasi. I can't believe that. Only, <laughs> anyway, Sam George says, I can never be jealous of a failure like Pablo. Eesh, these are too strong. Please, I think, I think they should stop. I think they should stop. Come together. Uh, who is the MPP youth organizer? I can't remember. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Nana B is the national organizer at MPP. I think they are fine. Kodia and Kodia are fine. They are, they are good. They are doing their work. I think NDC should also be fine. Get together. Let's bring out the ideas. Bring out the ideas. Let's interrogate the ideas. This is what you are saying. This is what, let, that's what we need. This I uh, wrote Wasi and you are... It doesn't, it doesn't work. Okay. Uh, this is the last one. Samit Jenfi Soon. And that's very proverbial. Samit Jenfi quotes Proverbs chapter 26, verse 4 to 5. He says, Proverbs 26, 4 to 5, on my mind. What does it say? It says... Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest you be like him yourself. Full stop. The sentence continues. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. 663 comments went on to that in two hours. 81 people shared it, and 1.5K uh, people uh, liked it. <laughs> Sammy Jimfi. Okay. It's all getting too bad, isn't it? It's getting too bad. Okay, so we will conclude our conversations about politics here.